Hey Gemini, this is Star. We're getting ready to do your whole story reading. Before I start, I'm going to pull a card to see what your overall energy is at this time. I'll just shuffle these. This is going to be for a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right. At the bottom, we have Be Still. We have Golden Crown and Celestial Teacher. Very interesting. They're, they're both um, very similar in that I feel that your, your intuition is very much heightened at this time, and you may be receiving downloads, or you may just be getting uh, prophetic dreams or something like that, but you're very, very in touch and in tune with, uh, with the universe and with your higher self. Okay. I'm going to shuffle these cards a little bit before I begin. <clears throat> For those of you who are not familiar with this reading, we do go through the entire deck. Okay? So, Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see what you guys have to look forward to. Okay. Seven of Swords in reverse. Wow. Um, so I don't know if you guys have recently found something out about someone or, uh, I don't know, you, it looks as though you may have cut somebody out. Something did not work out. You have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Six of Wands here in the middle. So it, it looks like you had to abandon something, just completely go into a, a whole different direction. And there is anger um, because of this, or there was anger, so there may you may have been... Um, possibly dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but not necessarily. Let's see what this is about. Oh, okay. Someone was like trying to hold you back. Um, if you were leaving someone, I feel like this person was trying to hold you back from leaving. It's something about not progressing. Uh, let's see. So I'm getting here, uh, somebody may have been jealous of you, <laughs> to be quite honest, because I'm seeing here that there was fast movement. So I don't know if you were, <coughs> and this is just an example, but you may have been um, getting promoted or, you know, things may have been happening really quick for you. Maybe you were building a business and all of a sudden it seemed like overnight everything was going so great. You were making a lot of money or something like that. There's, there's, there's energy here where you seem to be doing really well and somebody was trying to hold you back from that. Um, this forced you to make a decision. I feel like this was very hurtful. It was very hurtful for you. Um, but you chose yourself is what I'm seeing here. But you're very unhappy with whoever it was that you were dealing with that had these these tendencies to betray, really, because that's what I'm seeing is, is sort of a betrayal. They wanted you to fail. Yeah, so you, you definitely walked away from that. I do see you here healing down these burdens and you're being very cautious when it comes to others when you know allowing new people into your life hmm. I 
feel like you're taking things slow. You don't want to, I'm getting here like in relationships, you want to take things slow. You don't want to like fall in love with anyone. You don't want to open your heart or make yourself too vulnerable too quickly. You're still very much in your emotions. I feel like you're holding on to a lot of sadness from the past. You're keeping it pretty buried. Like if somebody saw you, they would never think that you were holding on to all of these, um, all of the sadness, all of these emotions, but you are, you're keeping it quiet. It's like you're going through a very, very personal healing process that you're not letting other people in on. So nobody really knows that you got this hurt. Nobody really knows what it is that you're trying to, uh, accomplish here, what you're trying to heal. Um, you see all they see, look, King of Swords is your energy with the Ten of Pentacles. They just see you being successful, being a boss, uh, you know, just concentrating on, on that kind of thing. And so it may take people by surprise, you know, if they hear that, that you're actually, um, some of you could even be depressed, like secretly depressed. Some of you could be buying a home because I'm seeing here a celebration or this could actually be something like a birthday or um, an anniversary. There could be like a celebration like that or, or a wedding. I'm just seeing here a celebration that you may be going to. I'm picking up that people are, or there's somebody around you who perceives you to be kind of stuck up or that you're, you're full of yourself because of your success. There's something here like constantly, since I started the reading, something about your success or the attention that you get, or uh, I don't know, there, there's somebody is like not really liking, <laughs> liking that energy about you. It probably threatens them somehow. They, they feel intimidated by your success. There are people who may like resist um, in getting to know you or, or just be turned off in getting to know you. But again, it's because they're threatened. They feel threatened or um, intimidated. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm, again, I'm seeing the issue of you putting off uh, getting into any romantic connections. So obviously this would be for the single Geminis out there. There's still something that you're still dealing with. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands in reverse here. I feel as though you may not be, you know, whatever it is that you're carrying, these, these emotional burdens... You may not be physically around that situation or these people anymore, but you're still deal, dealing with it internally. Um, so that, that cycle is not completely closed out. You're, you're almost there. It's taking some time, but I do feel like um, your career, or, you know, whatever it is that you're focused on, uh, this money-making um, endeavor, it has kind of slowed the process down because it's doing exactly what you wanted it to do. Okay. So you were dealing with a lot of emotions. You didn't want to have to deal with them. And so you may have buried yourself into your work that worked, but you know, the healing is still there to have to happen. It, it doesn't just go away magically. Um, and I do feel like because this keeps coming up, part of that healing process is getting to the point where you don't feel like you have to block people out of your life. Some of you went through like a complete change of life and, and this has been very overwhelming to you. The fact that you put so much time and energy into either your career or your business, it really, you're, you're seeing this pay off. Like this is completely transforming, um, like I said, either your career or your business.
yeah, see, we have the world in reverse with the star. So something about um, your healing not being complete. Because even though you're not dealing with, with the situation on the day-to-day, -day, it's still on your mind. Some of you may have gone through a divorce. And you may be fearing... Um, not having enough, like there's a sense of inadequacy or something like that. There's a lot of sadness. There's things that you're still trying to figure out, and I think it has to do with the past. It's like you're trying to figure out that situation that caused you heartbreak or that caused you a feeling of betrayal. Um, you're trying to learn like all the ins and outs of it, and it may run through your mind um, pretty incessantly which would explain why you try to keep yourself busy. But it could be that, you know, in keeping yourself busy, you're not allowing for this this to finally end, you know, because it's, it's always just kind of kept on the back burner. And like I said, it doesn't just go away. It's always just there until it's dealt with, until it's actually faced. Um, that's interesting. As soon as I said that... <laughs> This kind of caught my eye. You see how this kind of looks like um, curtains, but when you look closer, it's actually a silhouette of two faces. So yeah, there is definitely something that you need to face, um, as painful as it could be, or you know, regardless of, of the feelings that it triggers in you, it, it does need to be done for the purpose of your healing. I'm seeing you, again, keeping to yourself, which um, may not really be your character, typically. Um, so you may normally be somebody who, who is very extroverted. I don't know, but it, it just, it keeps harping. Like the message keeps harping on the sense of you being uh, to yourself now. So I, I just get the sense that it's not your typical way of being, but here you are. Um, I do see new people coming into your life or just you having to work with others. And this may be something that you like you're not too sure about it. You don't really want to, but um, the cards are kind of saying like slowly ease into it. For some of you, it could be like you, you were in hermit mode for some time or just not really going out much. You were spending a lot of time at home. Um, this is saying like slowly, you know, wean yourself off of that. I'm getting like for some of you, you have adopted this like tough persona um, for the purpose of kind of like turning people away from you, <laughs> like repelling people, um, which it does. But it, it also really just highlights your insecurities and your vulnerabilities. So just keep that in mind, even though you have that persona, a lot of times that is like an indicator of somebody who is hurting. So what you're trying to cover up is actually being highlighted. And I, I, I do feel like there's people talking about this. There's people talking about the fact that you are pushing everyone away because you don't, there's something like, I don't know, somebody thinks you're hiding something or that you're not being completely real. I feel like some of you went through a break. So this, this could be talking about a breakup. It doesn't have to in every situation, but I'm seeing the lovers here with the Ten of Swords. Um, again, going back to uh, could be a divorce because I uh, I am seeing like a, a financial tie to this. So it doesn't have to be a divorce. It could be somebody that you were living with. But there's definitely an ending here um, with somebody or a situation from your past that you did have a lot of love for. 
I'm, I'm, I'm getting here like somebody needing help, financial help. And it could be either your ex-partner or this could be you. Uh, but there's like a struggle, someone struggling with an ending. And it being on a in a financial sense. So I, I don't think it's you. I feel like this may be your partner or this could be worries that you have. So which it's almost like you're overcompensating. So you're trying to, you know, make yourself as successful as possible so that you don't need help from anyone. Um, but it's like feeding into that fear. Hmm. Sorry, one second. Yeah, there's a couple here. Look, we have the king and the queen together. But the queen is in the reverse. The king is upright. Someone is thinking about reaching out to you. It may be this person that you freed yourself from that you are trying not to think about. I feel like this person is thinking about you. They want to reach out. They want some sort of reconciliation. They may invite you somewhere. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like at some point you were, the two of you were in love with each other. Hmm. Whoever this was, this could be like a serial cheater. Somebody could have a gambling problem or, or just addictions in general, but I am picking up on gambling. Yeah, this person may have walked away from you. Yeah. I don't know if this person, like, ghosted you or, they, or you felt abandoned, like, when you needed them most. Wow. Yeah, see, King of Cups with the Eight of Swords. So I feel like you, the both of you were super in love, like almost obsessed with each other, but you freed yourself because of something that you found out about them. So, you know, we did see that first card out was the Seven of Swords in reverse. And like I said, I am seeing somebody here like a serial cheater or somebody who has um, addictions. This may have been the information that you found out that, caused you to have to walk away or this person walked away from you whatever the case is they may not have walked away this could have just been like being emotionally unavailable um and that was you know throughout the relationship is what i'm getting here but this person cannot get you out of their mind i do feel like they want another opportunity but look yeah seven of swords you found out about the lies that they had been telling you and you just can't see them in the same way they have a lot of attraction. There could be a Sagittarius here of significance, but they have a, there's so much attraction. They they want to you know get together intimately again with you. Yeah, I, you may be getting a phone call, um, wanting to like see you, apologizing. Somebody's very regretful. They can't stop thinking about you. They miss you a lot. There's just somebody here really really missing you. Could be a water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, look, remember I was talking about being in hermit mode? Here you are coming out of that. Really moving on, re oh, finding new love, having fun again. I do see that, yeah. Death. So finally putting something to rest. Oh, beautiful. Look, new beginning, happy. Happy new beginning. This could be also a new relationship that is very, very pleasurable. Um, 
you're definitely like I'm seeing you ascending uh, in in your career in in your assets. Like you're acquiring more assets. Um, you you are entering into a different tax bracket. Something like that. It's pretty major. You're feeling very motivated uh, in, in whatever that is, whatever is that is ca causing you like more abundance, like you're seeing the results, you want to continue, you want to put all your effort into that. Yeah, somebody, uh, let me see what this death card is, or... Oh, hmm. So I feel this is, um, this could just be this new beginning. Like I feel somebody wants this, this new beginning with you, but I'm getting the judgment card here. So this is someone that you had already dealt with. It could be that person that you broke up with uh, is what I'm seeing. But you're resisting. Uh, you may be tempted by it, but you're definitely, I'm seeing here, you're resisting this offer. I don't see reconciliation happening here, even though this person is really going to be insistent. But on your mind is going to be, you know, the, the, the heartache, everything that you went through, you can't get that off your mind. Yeah. See the magician with the tower in reverse. So the tower has already come down. You are focused on creating this, this new future for yourself. Yeah. I'm just getting, again, being resistant, being resistant to any kind of offers of love or, Maybe you, you just don't feel ready, but I do get that you are starting to have more fun, even if it's just on your own, or that you're appreciating yourself a lot more. You're seeing yourself a lot clearer. It's interesting because with these two cards, the way that I'm holding them right now, obviously the hermit is like this old man, very wise, um, and, and, and it's like he's shining this light, which there's also a sun here shining upon this little uh, child. So I feel like this child was the hermit, you know, when, when he was little. And, and so this is kind of telling me that there's, there's, um, a reexamination of your whole life, like trying to get to know yourself better so that you can love yourself, uh, in a better way and not fall prey to, to people, to other people. So I don't, I don't get that you're necessarily, um, opposed to having anybody else in your life or to having new love. It's just more so like not right now. You don't feel ready right now. You're focused on something totally different that is going to benefit you long term. Um, and so, you know, love is just not a priority at this time is what I'm getting. You're, you're still actually trying to heal from love related issues. And so uh, to you, it just doesn't seem like <clears throat> or it won't seem like the right time. But if someone wants in, again, financially looking amazing. I feel like this makes you, the fact that you are getting to that point, like you're building yourself up to to feeling very confident in a financial sense. It gives you this sense of power. But there's still a need to work on um, forgiving, letting go. Yeah, you went through a very dark time. Somebody from your past is very frustrated that you don't want to communicate with them. Again, I'm seeing judgment with that Ace of Pentacles. So again, somebody wanting a new beginning, but it's 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 someone from your past. Hmm. So this this keeps coming up, which tells me that this person is going to be very insistent. Um, they're just going to be around. They're going to maybe be stalking you. But 
when it comes to you, you're ready for this this change. You're ready to um, like change your whole atmosphere. Is is what I'm getting. Like you 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 don't even want to live in the same place. You don't. You want everything new. So the way that you feel in control is by having your finances in order, by um, doing really well in, in, at your job, in your career. This is what you feel you can control. And therefore, that is where all, all your attention is going right now. Because you can't control what other people do. You can't control their decisions. And there was somebody who made a really bad decision um, when it comes to you. Very unjust, unfair, deceptive. But you're really coming out on top. And I'm going to say you got to be careful with that because, you know, if this person was predatory and only you would know, uh, especially in hindsight, you know, in this kind of situation, you may know that this person is predatory, that this person no longer served you and you needed to get rid of them from your life. Um, I thought I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but basically because you cannot control others, you're, you're just controlling your, your piece of the, of the puzzle and you're doing a really good job. Um, it, it's just. You know, you're, it's going to take some time for you to trust again and to allow others into your life. Um, I do feel like somebody, I don't know, they put you in a state of vulnerability that you feel like you never want to go back there again. Um, but at the same time, had you not gone there, I don't feel like you would have been in this position at this time in your life. <clears throat> this being, <clears throat> This being the emperor, excuse me. So having that control, having um, the success that you've had, uh, especially, you know, with the cards that came out here, some of you may, the, that experience may have triggered um, a spiritual awakening. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of wisdom within you, okay, that, <coughs> that is um, recently acquired through these painful experiences. And aside from this um, building a stronger relationship with, with your higher self, uh, I do feel because that, that card at the bottom was be still. And this card, because this her hair, you see how she's, she's got this long hair, which to me signifies um, strength and courage. And it's the number five. So in the face of adversity... You were forced to just stay still because there was nothing you could do and just show your strength and courage. And it just opened up a whole new world for you is what I feel. So what I'm trying to say is even though it was a negative experience, it led you down such a positive path that you may not, I mean, you may have reached that path, but maybe a lot further along in your life. Who knows? But it ended up being positive is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I keep um, seeing like somebody here is just not ready for a relationship. There's still too much going on, you know, in the mind when it comes to that. Um, I feel like a lot of you are perfectly happy not just hanging out with your family um, and not really communicating with um, anybody outside of your close uh, circle. But like I said, there's a lot of attention on you. So there may be friends or, or love interests that do want to get to know you, but you're never available. That's what, that, that, that's what I keep picking up. You're just never there. You're never available. You're not open. You're not really like um, being warm to people. Um, and, and it's not that you're being rude. It just might be that you're legitimately like busy because that's, that's, that's your plan. That's your strategy. And so, yeah, you are busy, but 
I, I just feel like there's a lot of people around you who are noticing that and they're not liking it. Like I, I keep getting like blocked messages or you just don't respond to phone calls. For some of you, it's like you don't respond because people are calling you for, for money or for help or Oh, I, I see. Okay. So you're, you're very cold, or at least that's how you come off, but it's because in the past you were completely depleted of your love, of, you know, your attention, everything that you were giving, you overgave and forgot to give to yourself. And so you were depleted. And so that now, now you kind of have to overcompensate for that and uh, draw very, very strict boundaries. I think that's where you are right now. It's not to say that's always where it's going to be, but you know how like these pendulums, they swing from extreme to extreme before it gets to a happy medium. And you're still at, at one side of the, uh, the spectrum there before you swing back to a balance um, position. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> that's interesting. So we have two sevens here, seven of cups, seven of pentacles, and then we have the king and the queen of swords. So that's twice now that we've had a couple, uh, you know, the counterparts in, in a particular, uh, spread. You just want to hold off on committing to anything or anyone. Because when you have committed in the past, it didn't work out for you. So th there, there's still a long road ahead, I feel, you know, in, in this process. And there's no rush, frankly. Um, this is just what I'm seeing. You don't take it as a, any kind of criticism or judgment. It's just, I'm just reading the cards. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing, that, you know, you still need time. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Some of you were dealing with like I said, is serial cheater. I was going to say a womanizer, but it can be a man. It can be a, a woman or a man. So, you know, however it fits, but it definitely, and this could have been like a sex addict even, but I'm seeing, look at all these threes. We have here the three of swords twice, and then we have the three of pentacles in reverse. So this person really left a lasting impression on you and not a good one. And so you're very, very hesitant to take a leap of faith with anybody new because it, it feels like you just left this unfortunate situation. Uh, Eight of Cups here. Um, with a person that you really were convinced they were the one. Like they, they were your rock. They were someone that you believed in, someone you respected. And then here you come to find out that this person had been betraying you. I feel like for a long time, um, and they still deny it is what I, what I'm getting here, even in the face of like evidence, like you're, you're giving evidence, you're showing receipts and this type of person like just denies it. Um, so th that's definitely a red flag. If somebody can't own up to what they've done, even when proof has been, uh, provided that that's actually a sign of, uh, possibly narcissistic tendencies or, you know, some sort of psychological issue. Um, and you know that now. So 
it's interesting because I feel like this is exactly so the, the you, this experience has put you on this path to develop your discernment, your intuition. So you're not feeling this way that, you know, you're completely in the dark because none of us are completely in the dark. We are constantly um, communicating or, or I should say our angels, our spirit guides are all constantly co trying to communicate with us. Whether or not we receive those messages or accept them is really up to us. It's only for our benefit. But if you don't want to hear them or if you just don't don't hear them because you're too busy with the third 3d world um then you know it is what it is then we have to go down a longer path of of uh, finding things out on our own and usually that's that's a little more painful or a lot more painful um but i i, I do feel like this is this is the path that you're on you are going to get maybe at this time it, it feels like that's never going to happen um but you are going to get to the point where your discernment is going to be a hundred percent like on point. Uh, so it's not really about, are you going to ever trust anyone else? It's really about you trusting yourself again to choose the right people to come into your life or to know when to spot the red flags and, you know, walk away when you need to. So, yeah. That is what I have there. So let me get uh, guidance here. A monology for you as final guidance or advice. Whoa. Let me start over. Oh my goodness, those almost flew into my candle. Wow, you got so many. bottom I put my glasses on be bold and make the first move don't let pride get in your way you and your loved ones are safe your dreams need a practical plan and the one that almost flew into the the fire was luck is on your side so it's almost like you need a pep talk <laughs> right Gemini and I, I feel like the universe is trying to give it to you you are safe. People out there, you know, sometimes they're very good at hiding um, their true intentions. Um, but you're building up to this. You're building up to feeling safe within yourself again. Um, so the ego is definitely at play here. I do feel like that maybe, you know, slowing the process down a bit. Because like I said, uh, you may be trying to put all your energy and attention into more superficial matters. Not that they don't matter, but they are more su superficial than, than, um, you know, healing your, your emotions. Um, but all your dreams are like really getting ready. You, the luck is on your side. So that's why everything is going so well. You know, whatever it is that you're putting all this energy into, you are going to be seeing the money coming in. Um, so yeah, just make sure you have a practical plan, which I, 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 it seems as though you do. I feel like your struggle is mostly emotional. Everything else, it looks like you have it figured out. So that is your reading, uh, Gemini. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're interested in a private reading, contact me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com. Bye guys.